find most fascinating is not just about the NASA, but also about the measurement of ships di disappearing into the horizon, which it's not true. Back in the time of my ancestors, they had no one had a telescope. We do today. And so we set the telescope, and no, it has not disappeared anywhere. Yeah. I, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the, the high-end cameras, uh, that's what, the one bad thing about technology, if you're trying to control the world from an authority standpoint, so when I say authority, I mean usually three groups, uh, the super rich, the royals, um, and, the, uh, and, the, and the governments. And that is, <clears throat> the problem with, with technology is, is it's going to permeate into certain places and there's no way you can stop it. So once computers got small enough that you could fit uh, you know, a full-blown PC into a phone, well, you could also put a full-blown PC into a camera, you know, on a high-end camera, and give cameras abilities they didn't have even 10 years ago, including mm -hmm. super zoom, uh, like the with the Coolpix P900 or whatever that thing that came out with, it's just a monster zoom. And so basically, you go to the beach and you look out, and you know, without you know, with just your naked eyes, you can see about three miles, and you see ships disappearing into the distance. You think they're going over the horizon because that's what you've been told. But then you whip out your, your zoom camera or your phone or whatever you've got with super zoom capability and you zoom in on this ship and now it's there again. And it disappears because it's gone out of your range. Well, if you had a more powerful telescope, you'd be able to see that ship at a very, very long range, uh, way further than you should be able to see it. And by that, and I know mm -hmm. this is going to throw some people, nobody likes hearing math. I hated math in high school and, and everybody <laughs> else did too. That's why the nerds, there weren't that many of them. The chess club in my school, very small. Mm -hmm. And that was the curvature of the earth. If you believe mainstream science, it's not what we talk about, the flat earth people. Mainstream science says it's about eight inches per mile squared, mm -hmm. which means it is eight inches times every mile times itself. So it gets so it's not like going downstairs where it's like eight inches per mile forever. That's just a slope. You've got to adjust it for for a curve. Mm -hmm. So at two miles, it's two times two, time, which is four times eight inches is thirty-two. Three times three is nine times eight is seventy-two, and it just gets worse from there to the point where when you do like fifty miles, it's fifty times fifty times eight inches, which is uh, sixteen hundred eighty feet roughly, and that's a long way. You know, that's, that's 1,680 feet, which means if you have an object 1,680 feet high, at 50 miles you shouldn't be able to see it because it's on the other side of the curvature. It's on the other side of the hill right. you're trying to look on the other side of. Um, but yet, the Chicago skyline, that's just one of many all around the world, you can see these things. And everyone says, well, it's mirage, it's mirage, it's, it can't, it's not real. It's like, well, that's not necessarily true because I've interviewed people to deal with high-end military technology that says they're, you know, they're painting targets at 60 miles and beyond right. that are way lower than 1,000 feet. That, you know, they're barely even 100 feet off the water. Exactly. And so, yeah, even the curvature. So that's, that's the second question that I throw at people, which is how, where is the curvature of the Earth? Tell me, if you had to grab the average person off the street without any limit to money, or, or, or time, how would you show them the curvature of the Earth? And they can't. Nobody can't. Everybody keeps backing up. They say, well, you have to take a rocket ship. You have to, you have to, get, you have to take a book of flight with NASA. It's like, okay. You see, everyone keeps coming back to the same group. It's always the same group. It's always NASA. People say, no, there's other space agencies out there. It's like, well, no, because NASA was first, and they were the ones that built the architecture. And all these other space agencies, JAXA, the, U, the European Space Agency, the Chinese, the Russians, they all, they're all in a, they're, they, they all report to the same people. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it just gets, I know I go off on rants, but uh, it's, that's, that's where it really starts getting interesting. It's wonderful that you go off on a rant. How often do you get a chance to do that with this sort of subject? It's not you know. that often.